This short video will illustrate the steps necessary to create brake lines from a mine pit point cloud to create the toe and crest 3D polylines. So for this exercise we'll use the Carlson point clouds module. I'll load it up and I'll just make a new point cloud project. We'll call it demo. Save it. And then I will go to import an example point cloud, which is LIDAR LAS LAZ file. And go find this one called Surface Mine LAS. It's a large file, 1.8 gigabytes. Open. And I'll assume it's just surveyed in uh, standard units, so we'll just not convert it from metric to US feet. It imports fairly quickly for a large file. Now that it's in, we'll go ahead and view this cloud. Just come over to Clouds and double click on Surface Mine. And we'll just view it directly as the colors from how it was surveyed. So this pulls it into the point cloud viewer and you can see each point cloud node or dot is colored by the final photo that was used when it was captured. So now what we'll do is create brake lines down the toe and crest of these benches in the surface mine. Alright, so we'll close that view viewer of the point cloud. Next step will be to create a mesh. So I'll right click, create mesh of this point cloud. And we'll just have a very coarse surface file. You can control how many vertices are used. We'll just do half a million in this case to give it a, a little bit of speed benefit here and to give it a nice coarse mesh for the brake lines on the toes and crests. Okay, now that the mesh has been created, we'll just come over and double click on mesh one. And to extract brake lines, the position must be set to normal, colorizing the surface mesh. The scene shows the surface colored by normal. And so now what we'll do is select all, highlights everything in red, and then we'll come down to break lines. And this shows a couple of different shades of blue that will represent the normal for the color break uh, coloring for the break line definition. And we'll choose extract extraction method by vertex. And we'll just increase some of these values down below for simplifying on the polyline. Let's increase that factor. Let's do about a 5 on the simplification. And this polyline smoothing, we'll leave it at, put it at a 1.0. So now we'll hit show. And that shows you then the position for the, where the brake lines will be drawn. You can also add additional colors and uh, RGBs into this spreadsheet window. So now we click Extract. Brake lines have been drawn. They are now in 3D down the toes and crests of each bench. Next step then will be to view those and let's take them to CAD. So under my project, now under the process data, I have all these polylines. So next step, we'll just right click on the polylines and let's say draw all. And if the layer is already there, it'll, it'll thaw it out. Hit OK. It, drew the polylines in CAD. So now we zoom back out to CAD and there they are in 3D. Nice 3D polylines. Let's check it out from a 3D view. There it is from the front. There it is at a 3D rotation. And we can just do a AutoCAD orbit, for example, to look at this from different views. So that's a quick video on how to create toe and crest 3D polyline brake lines from scanned point cloud or LiDAR UAV data. Thank you.